Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Semi Port, where you join me at the beginning of day five. We're going to push time forward, and we are now two hours and 15 minutes into this Let's Play, apparently. We've only got six grand in the bank, but we finished our extension last time. Now you can see how our current um, line of working isn't quite matching up with the plan, but that's just because we don't have enough money. Um, but what we do have is the first people coming today. So we're going to keep an eye on the flow of passengers, see if there's any small improvements we can make to make flow better. The ticketing booths are doing really well down here, the ticket machines. Security... People are skipping the queue. Were the queues not properly assigned? Let's take a look at that. So this is a... Um, this is a ticket, ticket. No, that's a security agent. That's a ticket that stand. Assigned to this queue. I think that was the problem. Um, yes, they're now going to the queue, but I think, I think this one's, oh, this one is assigned to that one, and that one appears to be assigned to that one. Fantastic, good. Ah, uh, yes, that's better. Right, continue with the fastness. Okay, so we've got lots of people in. We've got an aircraft just landed, and it's coming into our first bay. We're going to be getting rid of this gate, gate 1A in the future because we're going to expand the entrance hall and the restrooms and all that sort of stuff now while we're at this is there any research or anything we could be doing let's see maintenance allows you to configure maintenance options including repairs runway intersections allows you to build intersections on runway oh okay operations land expansion rail transit and stuff Technology, advanced security. Um, well, we we could do, let's do the what's the cheapest operations. Let's do that. That might open up some stuff. Right. Um, things are looking okay. The, I think we might need a bit more seating, but once we expand areas, we will do that. Um, I'm just wondering whether we're going to be coping with this brand new uh, schedule that we've got. This is the one that we put in place previously with the three gates. Um, we've got a space for one afternoon flight and we've got some early AM flight availability. But nobody's offering us them yet. Um, never mind. So there's, I presume it goes gate one, gate two, gate three and it just cycles through. So we should be able to see how everything goes. Now, at the minute, the baggage claim seems to be coping. We may need another hangar or a medium hangar with a couple of baggage trucks. We've got a warning, a weather alert, nothing I can do about that. There's a lot of people around here milling around. I think that we definitely need to expand this area if we can. Uh, seating is the biggest problem, I think, at the moment. I think what, oh, there's the um, gate to... Oh, I was expecting a gate 3 one before the gate 1 one came in, but never mind. But going through the course of day 5, the airport is just about coping. So it'd be nice to be able to then start some expansion. So let's have a look. Can I build um, foundations, please? Um, how much would it cost to put the foundations up to here like this this fan oh 160,000 for that oh my goodness right oh two airplanes are going at once oh and one landing no they shimmied round for each other it's fine so we're gonna need about half a million maybe we should come back in a couple of days time when there's some money. Let's do that.
Right then, I've just been running the simulation for a while, realised that we're only actually having the two gates open. That's because the schedule we looked at was for day six, not for day five, because we changed it um, a little too late in day five for it to matter. So now, as we roll into day six, we should see all three gates being used, more aircraft, and even more passengers coming through. So we'll see how that goes. Just keeping an eye on this. To oh, we've got an AM fly available. We've got one AM flight available. It is... Or two, sorry. Um, no, one. And it is for an A320. Uh, 150 passengers. We'll have that. Fantastic. Just what we needed to go in this slot here. But it's, again, too late for... Um, us to be able to do that um, in day six, so that'll be ready for day seven. What does that say? Oh, the error message is gone. It must have been saying you need to put that in. So we've got an aeroplane in every slot now, apart from our early AMs, which we'll keep an eye out for, see if any airlines want us to do that. Okay, so uh, we're at 70 grand after day five. We had some pretty big expenses come through. Um, the bus cost us 25. A go, it's not too bad. Let's have a look down here. We've got our staff, obviously, that are doing pretty much nothing, um, but they will be building stuff. In fact, let's let's start them doing little bits. Okay, let's just first of all square this off. Just make sure we've got the right layout as people start coming in for our busiest day of airporting yet. We're going to have th uh, three full gates working for the first time ever. Um, I'm wondering how these foundations are going to go, whether it's going to leave the wall or whether it's going to break through. I think it looks like it's going to leave the wall. Yeah, it did. So if I go build, demolish wall, that wall must be near outdoors. Well, I have no idea... What Let's try putting foundation there instead of a wall. I don't know. Let's give that a go and see if that helps. Um, we're going to need the extra seating space because there's our first aircraft in gate one. Not long after that one arriving, we should have an aircraft coming into gate two. This aircraft has got an hour before it has... Oh, look! We have managed to expand that area. There's the second aircraft. What I'm going to do is just pause the game quickly because we need to make some rearrangements here. Now, because we've squashed everything with the restrooms, this area here has got two in one. Um, I think we can probably get a lot of seating in because we've only got one queue here for the gate. So if I go uh, build... Is it bench or... Yeah, Ben... In, oh, gets rid of my search. There we are, standard bench. They're quite expensive, but we're going to put them back to back. Like this. We have a few thousand, so it's not too bad. We will be moving these later. Now, because of that, that bench is in the way. So we're going to have to dismantle that one. And when we'll say is that one will end up here. And then we'll just put one there. There we go. That'll do for now. That just offers, offers a lot more seating up. Right. Workmen, people, come on. Come and sort that out. Because it's going to get busy. We're expecting plane three to arrive any second. There it is. There's plane three. Um, I don't know whether we count as having that bench in stock now. One in stock. There we go. Rotate that. There we go. That will do for now. So we've got a lot more benches in. And we'll see how well we clear plane three before the uh, first gate gets its plane back in. We also need to upgrade, upgrade gate two to a large gate. We just want large gates. Um, 
That one looks like it might be... Oh, just on time that one was. Okay, so we're, we're handling it. Security seems to be okay. Generally doing quite well. Yes, we're all right. Uh, we need to keep an eye on the baggage car. I don't know how many planes this baggage car can cope with. It's loading the second plane. It needs to unload this one, which it can do straight off. And then it needs to load it again, and it's got... Uh, yeah, okay, so one baggage car in our current schedule is just coping. It's going absolutely crazy. It gets a short break before the first gate gets its next plane. Security seems to have a lot of passengers there, but it's just about coping. Um, yeah, one baggage car, three, three planes in our current setup working really good. That's fine. Um, and the seating problem has been resolved. We, the, having all these benches here, jobs are good. I think the idea is is that we want to have little restrooms and little shops and stuff um, on the walls later on. Um, not just these ones here, but we'll, we'll put a spattering all over the place. Too bad I can't just move a gate, put it over there. Um, I do want to make the runway longer so we can ex um, accept bigger planes. But we're at 80,000 now, so it's doing quite well. Um, should we spe we'll spend some of that on some more foundations, I think. Um, should we try and get another gate in? If I get another gate in, we're going to need another baggage cart. And really, we could do with moving the baggage cart to over here. Or we could just put one medium one there. That would be good. What's this aeroplane doing? Is it stuck because of winds? Um, it would cost us a lot for the foundations to go out this way, though, I think. Let's just check. So if we wanted the foundations to come out to cover that new gate, it would cost us 100,000. Let's do it. As soon as we've got the money, let's do it. There. Brilliant, okay. Uh, we're going to get this bench here and dismantle it. I'm going to leave that bench in. We're going to need then a gate. Uh, we won't have an extra large gate because that, that breaks my plans. We'll have extra large gates in another place. A gate is going to cost me 40,000, so we'll get there. And then what we'll start doing is getting ready for all these new gates, all these new aircrafts. The security is going to start to struggle. Um, so we're going to have to expand that area soon as well. What we'll do is we'll move this tunnel down, put an extra bay of security in. Um, what can we get out of a medium hangar? Um... You can have up to three vehicles. Oh, okay, that's good. So if we put one medium hangar here, how much that's going to cost us? 30,000. So 30,000 for that. 30,000 for the gate. We're going to need more than one gate. Um, this bench hasn't been moved like I requested. Sorry for that, folks. Um, med. Um, yeah, it's hard to know what to expand and when. Let's go let's go with the medium hanger. Um and we'll put it there because it's gonna service these three and those three. Once it's built I mean I'd like to move the baggage depot to next to the hangar here. As well. But I don't think I can move it. I'd have to build it or something assign vehicles assign vehicles ah right so I have to buy a new baggage car do I yes 
and then move it. Well, I, we can't. The problem is, is that I can't just move my baggage car. Oh, let's check to see if we were allowed any more flighty things. No more aircraft. Nuts. Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, so we're going to get rid of that small hangar. We're going to move the baggage depot. Let's bag. Right, bag scanner, baggage remote, remote bag scanner. Oh, okay. Bar baggage carousel. What's this called? Oh, it's ba did I mistype? Let's just put bag. Maybe it's in utilities. There it is. Um, it's got to be in here. Fuel depot. We'll need a fuel depot later as well. There we are, baggage depot. So we're going to put this over here. Um, next to the hangar. And I'm assuming it's going to be able to reach it okay. I mean, it doesn't have to park up right against it. Uh, but then I think we're going to need a baggage hub. Let's go underground and have a look. How do I go underground? Do I just click the thing? Right, there we go. Yeah, because we've got this, this hub there. I think we're going to just instead... Can we do conveyor lines under the runway? We can. So that return... I mean, we don't need to move the hub at all. We could just redirect it to that one. Leave the hub where it is. I think we'll put the hub here. We'll put a brand new hub in. What's the cost? Significantly more for a slightly bigger hub. Uh, we ought to build in... We ought to build in some future stuff on this. So, let's rotate that. And put it here. And we'll work out how we're going to do that more in the future um, lots of money well relatively good amount of money coming in airline interest is still not great but that's probably because how much we're charging what, what, what are you doing aeroplane oh runway's not in use okay so ideally what we want to do is Yeah, I'm not sure this is going to work how I want it to, but I'm just having a quick think to myself. Yeah, because that's going to overlap. Because we can't have these cross over. Um, we could have this one connecting to that line there tell you what we'll do we'll do some planning oh you can't do planning in utilities that's that's no good okay so you it's like ghostbusters you can't cross the baggage lines um we're going to need to put the output from the baggage hub into one of these blues and as soon as we loop it around the top here it's going to cut off these two from being used somewhere else so if we bring it in there then people can win them and then we can go around the top to another one and we can get three going in that one can't we just chain the hubs Make it go one way, make it go the other way. Uh, probably. And then that one will have to go in here, and that goes back to baggage claim. Okay, I think I can get two on this. So, bear with me. The idea is, is the conveyor for this one... I'm not sure this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. Does that. And then... That conveyor... 
does that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted... Can I, how do I demolish? Demolish. Cancel. Right click for under construction options. Cancel project. Cancel project. And I'm going to have to cancel that entire project just because it's wrong. There we go. That's what I meant to do. So that's fine. And then this is the return line. So what we'll do is we'll make that go under the runway to here and we'll connect it up in a bit. And then this will be the main in line. So we'll just have to delete this and then connect it up. We should do it overnight really when it's not being used. Um, we're also going to need to purchase um, a a new vehicle. We're going to have to have the baggage car. There we go. Um, we'll have a second baggage car. There we are. Airport's getting really busy around security. I think that might be the next thing we upgrade before we put any more gates in. Um, I don't know what's wrong with that aircraft. Is it because people are on the runway? No idea. Um, but now we've got baggage cars parked in there, we can get rid of this small hangar. Sell that car. And then... Slots are not empty. There we go, we can dismantle it now. The other baggage cars are out, doing their job. I think three baggage cars for six um, gates should do the trick quite nicely as well. And we're getting to the night time point where we get this... I think this, this flight here is the last flight. So now that's one, that one's gone. We're going to get this, dismantle it. Go into utilities. And we're going to dismantle that as well. And we're also going to demolish... Um, that, 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 this, all that and that. And hopefully they can do that overnight before we get anything else coming in during the day. Oh wait, I, there was one more aircraft by the looks of it. Um, we're we not demolishing that. Oh no, there we go. They've demolished it. Brilliant. Okay, so now back to utilities. We can put the conveyor line in. We're going to just do this one so it goes straight to here and straight down. And this one will do something similar. So as far as I'm aware, that should be fine. And we should be able to get three more conveyor lines in there. Now this kink needs moving this way. So we are overnight. We're going to do a little bit of maintenance and sorting. Um, yeah, we'll get that right up here and here too. Because that was bad planning for future stuff. Oh god, they're so quick at this these days. Right, so if we get this right up to there, straight into there. And then this bit here needs to go too. This then can be built up to there, down to here. And there we go. That is much neater, and we can get another two baggage things on that. There's going to be a lot of conveyor involved, but we should be fine. Now, um, this is working. It just needs to be assigned to these three gates. And... The nighttime operations is done. Well, we've done an upgrade to a medium hangar today. Um, and a little bit of extra foundations and seating. Wow, things are actually coming along really good. We're going to need to do expand security next. Um, these corridors, I think, are going to have to come into place soon. So how much is it going to cost me to start putting this corridor? Oh, a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. Um, maybe we'll have to save that for next time. 
So join me next time where I will have saved up some money. Uh, we'll probably go around to the beginning of day 10 or something like that. And we're going to expand security and add in some extra, uh, some new, brand new gates. Uh, but th for now, thank you very much for watching. If you've got any ideas, thoughts and questions, please do leave them down in the comments section below. And I will see you sometime soon. Take care and goodbye.